Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying what you are hearing. Now, on to today's story. I may sound like an idiot even asking but. Am I getting cheated on? Update, you were all right. I told her she has a week to get out of my house and I left. Giant wall of text but it's definitely worth reading. So my girlfriend, 21F, and I, 21M, have been going through a weird patch where we're sort of broken up, sort of together. Been spending half the week at our house, half the week at my mother's. We have a daughter together and she has another daughter. There's been a few times since this started where we seemed like we were going to drift apart and she always tries to get me back on the hook. Okay here's the questionable stuff a little background, she told a bunch of people I was abusive towards her and it led me to losing my band and my close circle of friends. She is still friends with all of them, she met them through me originally, I know at this point it should have been ended entirely, but it's been hard for me to leave because I've never been in a long term relationship, she is the mother of my child, and she has convinced me that our relationship problems are my fault, and if I can take care of my problems we would be fine again. Since we've been in this weird situation, she's become very close friends with one of the people from said friend group that I no longer associate with. She has been hanging out with him, and his brothers who I am also friends with. She will stop texting me back for the night and the next time I see her she tells me she was out with all of them. She comes home wearing his sweatshirts even though I have expressed a million times how uncomfortable that makes me. I've mentioned my paranoia at least five times in the past three or four months and every time it gets shut down and she gets upset at me for assuming that she's cheating on me with him just because they're friends and hang out. It is also notable to mention that he has blocked me on every social media because I got pissed off at him once towards the beginning and confronted him about what I felt. He reassured me that nothing was happening, and that he wouldn't do that to me, then blocked me a day or two later. She tested positive for Covid and quarantined at his mom's house in the same room as him, different beds, because he tested positive too and she didn't want to be around me or the kids with Covid. But what has me over the edge again now? Today she picked me up from my mom's house and she got changed when we got home. She put on a Nirvana shirt that I've never seen before, all the sweatshirts she got from him were banned sweatshirts like that, and when I asked her where she got it from, she said Salvation Army but then when she leaves the house, she tweets BF who has cool shirts GF who steals shirts cause they're cool. At this point I lost it. On the phone, she gets super frustrated that I'm looking that far into something so stupid and that I'm making connections where there is none. So at this point I'm going into full psycho mode. I check her phone logs because I am the head of the account, and turns out she's calling him a ton more than she's calling me, some calls being right after she called me. Funny enough, including right after I called her about the shirt thing. But there's multiple calls daily. Some of them being super late at night and ranging anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. I'm sitting here fuming as she just got home from work. She's all sad about something but won't tell me what has her so sad. She just left to go get a water from the store which I assume she'll call him while gone. I'm losing my fucking mind being made to feel I'm crazy. TLDR, girlfriend acting mad shady with one of my old friends but won't give me a clear answer on anything happening. Dude they quarantined in the same house, let alone the same room. Give your head a shake. She's definitely sleeping with him. Besides that, where's her proof that she had Covid? I call bullshit on that as an excuse to go screw around with him. I go confront him and tell him that she got scared about losing you and confessed the whole thing. Then ask him why he's breaking the bro code and messing with your girl. Then tell him that he better go get checked out because she gave you an STD. After that, go confront her and tell her that he just confessed everything to you, and told you that he got an STD, and she should get checked. 
this should bring out the whole truth. Nah to be fair she did of covid, I got it like 6 days later. Are you being silly or is your intelligence questionable? Nah was hoping the mother of my child would stay true but I was very wrong. Left her for good earlier. Good for you not to mention your 21. Go live. Already back on Tinder trying to make magic happen ha 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 ha. Absolutely not the answer. Best thing you can do is better yourself and your life not duck around with thoughts. But I can understand the feeling but it's not going to make things better. Yeah at this point you're the backup plan. Get a lawyer and sort out custody and find someone that wants you and only you. She's gaslighting you. Go look up the YouTube videos on it. 10 bucks, she ends up pregnant within 3 months and you'll be trying to figure out whether you're the father or the other dude. Or worse yet he kicks her to the curb then says you're the daddy, 10 years down the road you find nah it's the other dudes. Be a man for the love of God and kick her out. The girl lied about you abusing her, should have ended then. She's obviously shady, and doesn't want to be with you. Let go. You're an idiot for staying with her. You're naive for thinking she will change. Stop being these guys. The more toxic you become the more she hates you. That's why she hangs out with these guys. Pull the damn trigger while you still have some dignity. If she's not cheating now she's definitely heading that way. She is manipulative and a liar. Doesn't matter if you have a child together, you're not going to be much of a father if you become nothing more than a broken piece of husk. She's playing you the fool. She has been and is cheating on you. You need to get a lawyer. Bank accounts in your name only. Credit cards in your name only. DNA your child, 50-50 status legally. Whose house is it? When was it bought? Before she was with you. STD, STI needs to be done. And shut her damned phone off. What are you looking for? What are you waiting for? I've seen no evidence of anything positive in this relationship and forcing yourselves to continue interacting just makes everyone miserable. Get started on the rest of your life. Yes you have a daughter together. Is this relationship more important than your mental health? She's gaslighting you big time. You know she is. Yet you still allow this to happen. She's driven away your friends. She's had you fired from your band. What else do you need to happen before you get it through your thick head that she's using you? She's banging your ex-friend and the brothers know this and aren't saying a word. Stand up and get a little self-respect. You're not married to her. The relationship is toxic on so many levels and you're drowning in it. It's time to pack your bags. Move states if you can and start anew. You are on thousand percent without a doubt brother being cheated on. Stop questioning it. Read the writing on the walls. Be a man? Leave. She is a manipulating bitch that needs to be dropped now. She tells your friends you're abusive. Red flag. At that moment you should have been done with her. She only staying because you have something F doesn't. If he didn't she'd be long gone. Save yourself. Do do yourself a favor and leave, it is better to be co-parents than stay in an unhealthy relationship. Are you sure it is your daughter and maybe do some test against SDD? I wish I could yank your head out of your ass for you, but I can't? You are being played. Leave her cheating, lying face and let her BF deal with her now. Contact a lawyer about your custodial rights. Run. Flee. Vamos. You already know, why tell you, that she is a voyeur woman, to be so young. She is very naughty, I would recommend you, end that relationship once, she is ducking that friend, she does not respect you, and tries to pass her guilt on to you, leave her, you are too young to live this shit with this woman, it is unworthy death, so someone can trust her, tell her that you already know everything, 
and that you only want to finish and worry about your son, and that there is no turning back. That you can never forgive her for ducking someone and that I plan everything to duck him leaving you to him and that they will get angry, for her to have step free, please, stay away from that woman, it doesn't suit you, it's a pee you know, it's still time, I don't think everyone sees you as a cuckold, you can find a good woman, with values and principles, she has none of that, just think, two children of different parents, and now with another type and if she gets pregnant. She will tell you that you are the father, get awake. Man, does she have to screw this guy in front of you before you actually get the picture? Bail and make sure the only contact you have revolves around your child. And you may think about dropping the group of friends. One thing to remember. Always keep your cool, don't wind yourself up and no matter what. No yelling, throwing things etc. Always keep your cool and no confrontations if there were even a slight chance of getting out of control, especially in enemy territory. Let us know when you're tired of being the other man. Yo dude, really. Even a deaf dumb blind man can see that she's ducking and sucking him every chance she gets. And that BS line that he told you that he wouldn't do that to you is just that, bullshit. There are tons of stories here where wives duck their husband's childhood best friends with absolutely no remorse whatsoever. Not to mention that there may be group action going on with her and those guys she hangs out with alone without you there. She's also 21 and already has two babies with two different guys as well. That alone is a big red flag. One more thing, paternity test for your kid. You don't need her permission. It's something you can easily do, especially if you're on the birth certificate. You can't make a wife out of a hoe, cheating and emotional affairs. And she calls him the GF. Bounce? You need two tests pronto, one for STDs and one for paternity for your daughter. This shit's definitely fishy, and she's gaslighting you bigger than life. Sure sounds like it. Why would your friends be taking her side? Update, I just left. Bro hate to say it like this but dude open your eyes stupid. She gets mad when you ask her about him, because she is duck him and has been for a while but you already knew that your wife is in a room with him, while they both have covid19. Dude I can promise you he duck her brains out while they were isolated and then she came home to you the guy she looks at as lame and no longer respects. Whoop that guy's ass period don't do no talking just walk up and open a huge can of whoop as then file for divorce. Swear to god there is no telling how many times she sucked him off came home and kissed you. Never allow anyone to walk all over you dot specifically if it's someone who's supposed to love you. God has something out there much better for you so shake off that dark cloud and go find it god bless, raised fist, she was. I found out for sure. Told her to get out of my house for good. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Have an awesome day or night. Wherever you are.